Hi Aquarius, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your general love reading for, I know it says October 21st through, um, no, it says September 21st through October 21st, but because I was late getting the videos out, I'm just going to have this go for the month of October. Um, so this reading is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, or Rising, or Venus. Um, and my apologies for having them late. I just want to show you guys the reason why is because I've been working on still working on this uh, Not working on it. It's already set up But I've been using this app where if you have an iPhone or an iPad you can download this in the App Store It's called instant go and my URL is instantgo.com slash moonpytarot. All you have to do is find me, and if you want to get quick answers to questions that you have, instead of waiting a week for me to get back to you, and some of you know it, sometimes it takes a little longer, maybe like a day or so, um, you can just download this app and, and ask me a question, and I can give you an answer to something that you want to know. And also, um, if you have a lot of questions or you just want to keep speaking about a certain situation I do have some clients that are doing that you can uh, go into a chat with me and um, we can just continue uh, going on with it okay so again the app is called instant go and look for moon pie tarot don't request to follow me for free because I will not accept it all you have to do I don't it doesn't I can't show you on here um, how to do it because this is my profile and um, you know it's an it's an edit mode but there will be a spot where you can just click on ask a question okay and that will let you just simply ask me a question okay so that's basically where I've been and what I've been doing so let's get started with your reading so Aquarius you have the moon card for the overall energy for this time period and what this means is things are not fully known to you or will not that you you will get some revelation about a situation whether you're single or involved either about another person or something will begin to will shed a little bit of light on a situation for you it's not It's not something where you will get a full blown a full blown explanation of something or you'll find out the full truth about something. Things are still in the dark in regard to your love life or regard to another person. There are things you just don't know. You may be trying this is this card's about illusions and secrets. You may be trying to get more information about someone or get something that was once hidden is will start to come out into the light a little bit so that's the overall energy for this time period your past position is the seven of pentacles so I feel like you're coming out of this energy from the past where you've put a lot of effort into something but you really didn't get a return on your investment and because this is a love reading it would have to do with a love relationship maybe you were committed to someone or you put your all in or all your energy into a certain person or all your energy into a relationship and you just didn't feel like they were returning back to you what it was that you needed um, the seven of pentacles in the reverse can sometimes be about You know like giving up you may have given up on a past relationship or given giving you may have given up on finding love or maybe it's still the same thing you you've put you've put a lot of effort and energy into something and you really didn't get back what you had hoped for you know at least here you see all this this work that he has to do you know and so far this is what he's built and he's still adding more to it and he's checking to see if it's you know is this working or you know is this giving me what I want but in the reverse it's like no it's really not and you may have come to the conclusion about this in the recent past or at some point in the past now what's happening for you in the first at least 10 days of October is there's some kind of a new beginning happening for you 
for some of you, this could be about like teamwork. Are you learning some something new? I feel like some of you may, it could have something to do with career or starting off on something new or, an, or a new skill or having something new start for you where you're learning from other people or you've you've learned your lesson from the past and the energy that you put into a, situ a relationship and now you're maybe finding a new way to produce within that relationship or you're starting something new if you're single in your love life okay and this three threes are always about communication so you could be communicating about a new project with someone or or having I'm trying to feel the energies coming through you may be looking for a quality relationship something that someone is on the same page as you okay the challenge position and the benefit is difficulty you're trying to heal from the a past betrayal okay it's a challenge for you to do this um, but it's also in the benefit for you to do this to now focus on healing okay because the the ten of swords in the reverse is a great card to get okay what was it's not like you were betrayed and you're down and down and out even though there is sunlight here in your future this is really just like forgiving or healing or moving on from a past situation you may have felt like some you may have felt stabbed in the back or you may feel stabbed in the back during this time about someone and you're ready for a new start and that's what this three of pentacles is it's having a new beginning starting something new okay some of you may have you know ended a relationship and now you're focusing on work okay because it's just the only thing you really can do right now so what's driving you is fairness and truth the justice card getting your truth and that, that could have something to do with this moon card. Things starting to come out into the open bit by bit and truth beginning to come to you about a relationship that you're in or you realizing deep within you what the truth is. This card is always about having a win-win solution. You know, It's always about cause and effect. The things we've done in the past produce and affect us in the future so this is what's driving you you're looking for a win-win type of a relationship where both partners benefit this this is where you are in your life right now because I feel like for you in the past you've put in all this extra energy and all this work and it wasn't reciprocated or it wasn't you weren't getting back enough of the energy that you put in and now you're starting over you're starting new the Page of Swords in the reverse, well, I will tell you, in the upright, the Page of Swords, this is what's on your mind. Um, in the upright can usually talk about someone who is spying on another person, um, watching to see what other people are doing, uh, someone who's, you know, curious, but truthful. And in the reverse, I feel like in your mind, you're just not doing that anymore, right? You're just not, you're not looking at things that aren't there any longer. You're being truthful about things with yourself, but you're getting to this place in your thought process where you feel like, The whole either the whole situation has just been nothing but negative for you and you are realizing that in your mind that you've just maybe you'll receive maybe this truth you'll receive will be bad news but it will be fair 
and you will get to this point in your thoughts where you know you're not going to focus or communicate with someone any longer perhaps because of the news that you get or the information that begins to come out for you going into your near future you have the five of swords so this is you i feel like you're just taking a stand now in your life in your love life okay you are you know maybe in a relationship there was a time where you fought and battled but you lost and then you fought and battled but you lost but now you're winning okay now you'll get to this point where you feel righteous about what you want and where you want to go in your love life now you're the one holding the swords you're the one making the, the determination about what you will and won't accept from someone or just in your life in general you're taking control you're taking control of the unmanageability in a relationship I mean it doesn't have to be so deep you could have just been involved with someone when where you were you know or currently not on the same page just you don't get each other okay and if you're single and there wasn't someone from the past you may have just spent a lot of your time putting energy into trying to make or manifest new love in your life and that wasn't working for you um, whatever you may have been using like old tactics in order to get what you want but now you're like healing yourself and trying something new either with another person someone new coming into your life I don't have any court excuse me I don't have any court cards here I could tell you that you could have a Libra you could have a Sagittarius you could have a Scorpio another Aquarius basically all the signs are here so don't even focus on that just focus on the energy of the reading I just want to clarify this five of swords just to kind of see you may just be at this place in your life now where you're not going to take any more bull from anyone okay so there may have been cheating or an affair you may find that out that might be what this little bit of information or light is starting to be shed on a relationship and maybe why you put so much energy into something and it wasn't reciprocated because this other person may have had someone else or it's you who is like you know what you're you're just going to heal yourself up and start dating and start taking control of your life now if you're married and there was some type of infidelity that could have happened in your relationship you're just taking the bull by the horns now with this situation you know this is sword energy so there's it's like the, what's that Tom Hanks there's no crying in baseball right you're just gonna go out there and pitch the ball you're gonna swing and you know and you're gonna just do your very best to manifest the things that you want in your life okay even if you're married even if you needed to forgive someone or there's healing that's coming through and you're some of you could be married and need to forgive maybe you want to forgive a, your spouse for not putting in as much energy as you and then you refocus your energy into something new and you stop paying attention to the things that they're doing because you just can't because you're you're depleting yourself okay and you also may find out or may realize that the other person was not being truthful with you maybe they were this doesn't always have to be infidelity this just could be someone who was out drinking all the time or partying all the time there's a lack of stability within the relationship and because of that and now here you are you're just like no more no 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 more okay so in the position of you you need to get to this place where the four of cups in the upright he's indifferent to love you know love gets offered and he's like no he contemplates it you know he doesn't 
he just kind of like doesn't pay attention to the cup or he's got too many choices or options and he just he feels unfulfilled okay but in the reverse you're getting to this point you'll be getting you, your energy will be at this point where you begin to develop a new outlook and a new direction okay and you tell yourself you're not going to miss opportunities for something great to have happen in your life. This is where you are now. All the writing on my cards, they're so old. So this is about having the desire and the need to accept love in your life, okay? You may be ready to really have, so I don't feel like you were at this place where you were so downtrodden and so like crazily hurt. You know, you're an air sign. You feel things, but you're not like, you don't take it so deep. You're just kind of like, ah, that sucks, whatever. And then you just kind of like implement new strategies to move yourself. You're very good at taking care of yourself and doing the things that you need to do. But you're also very good at healing, finding ways to heal yourself. And that's, and even though it's a challenge, you're up to the challenge because that excites you. Anything new and anything out of the ordinary and an, op an opportunity to, to have a new beginning is always exciting for you. Now, how others are viewing you, is, oh, sorry. Some people, they could be viewing you as being very imbalanced, you know, but are not being very patient. Maybe there's someone that you've put all this energy into and you've just worked so hard and now they're looking at you because you're deciding to either walk away or just have something new or try something new. And they could just be acting like a baby, like you're not being patient and, and your energy is coming back at them like, hello, I have done everything. I've put in so much to take care of us. I took care of you, things like that. And you're just getting to this place where, like, you're not going to be guilted into feeling like, you know, you're, you're the one who's in balance. Not when you've put all, look, this, you see, that's in balance. <laughs> Putting in all this and only getting one thing out of it, you know. So I wouldn't even, I don't feel like you're imbalanced. I don't. I just feel like you're dealing with someone who they themselves is very unbalanced, in imbalanced. I think that's the word. Um, I feel like this, because this is external to you, this could be the person that you may have been dealing with or are dealing with. Or if even if this is someone new coming in, they might see you. Here's the Fool card. That's the Aquarius card. So they might be seeing you as being a bit careless. And then, you know, but their energy is they're very disruptive. They're chaotic at times. They could have, they could be like always in some type of chaos. Like they just can't seem to get it together. They can't fix their own problems. So they rely heavily on others to do it for them. And, but they never learn how to do it. You may have tried to do that for another person. You may have given your all, given your all, been there for someone, and they just don't hold up their end of the bargain. And you're, you're looking for teamwork. You're looking for an equal, okay? And this is, you know, what you want. You're looking for partnership. This is, as I said, this is a team, okay? So your hopes and fears, you're definitely looking for new love. I mean, I don't feel like you're going out of your way to try and have that in a sense you know I just kind of feel like you're open to it you're hoping at some point there will be some type of a new beginning with someone and I feel like there is a possibility that there could be because the ace of cups is always this is a new emotional development okay this could be a new baby or it could be a new relationship this could be a proposal of some sort um, it could be marriage. It could be the birth of something new. You might fear that it won't come to you, but I don't feel like that's going to stop you from doing what you need to do for yourself. I feel like you're pulling or you have begun to pull back your energy from 
excess trying to make something work or excess trying to fix everything um, your energy pulling back could bring you this new beginning I feel like your readings going so short let me see if the ace of cups points out someone if there's anyone in particular that you're interested in or if um, or someone new coming in that you you know oh there's two cards that came here oh okay how cute so the knight of cups you could be offering your cup of love to someone or hoping that they will they will take it in return but you're being careful about not putting someone on a pedestal so you could be dealing with someone who is a water sign they could be very charming uh, very romantic they could be very sweet they have emotional energy so this could be Pisces Scorpio or Cancer um, could be in any sign so it doesn't mean you have to like ask them what their sign is and if they say Leo then you're like no they could have um, water somewhere in their chart or heavily in their chart um, but it could also be like maybe you're hoping that this person will reach out to you and this could be someone you've got the page of Pentacles so this could be someone that you're dealing with on a work in a work situation because Pentacles always represent you know a work kind of thing okay um, but you if it's you offering some type of love to them or or being charming with them you could just be taking on this energy of you know being very careful about what you say right because pages are always about messages so there could be text messages or phone calls or things like that so you could just be really taking you know taking your time or just you know not pushing it out there too much just maybe gauging things I do feel like you know you have this person on some type of a pedestal of some sort not necessarily but you really have admiration for them but you don't and you don't want to lose that but so you just want to take your time with it now your outcome position you have the tower so this is this is something major is going to change and it will be sudden out of the blue it will be something that's quite unexpected for you in regard to your love life okay i just dropped my glasses oh wow. so it'll be something that's kind of out of the blue unexpected you won't see it coming now look i know this is all chaos isn't it but it's not really chaotic in the sense i mean whatever was on shaky foundation in the past will it will just fall apart it will just you know in order to rebuild you know it's not just we don't just take our tools and start building a house the ground and the the foundation has to be strong and stable so whatever was unstable is going to finally come to an end in your life okay whether it was an unstable relationship or if you wanted more stability the situation of a particular relationship or just in your life in general something is going to change and it's actually going to free you to begin something new in your love life and it's really beautiful it's not so much like you'll you feel like you're taking a risk it's more so like you could have someone in your life that makes you feel free or you know gives you the incentive to try something new it's just a very carefree energy and you're not going to try to kill that you know you really can't there are two major arcana cards coming here so this is really just this is how it's going to go this is how it's going to happen even in your love life even if you're single okay whatever things that may have happened in the past that you put all your energy into and you just felt like you got nothing out of you're starting something new and this is going to change your life okay there could be someone new coming in if they haven't already in september and this person is going to absolutely change your life i feel like justice is a karma card so you know you are for this month going to actually get what's coming to you now 
that could be good or bad. <laughs> it really just depends. But if you've put out a lot of good karmic energy all over the place, you treated people well, you did your very best, and you got nothing in return, there's going to be, you will start receiving messages of love from someone. There's someone out there who really is interested in you. And again, this is coming through as a water sign. It doesn't have to be. But this is also messages, phone calls, texts, things like that. You will probably towards the end of the month because you're transitioning out of this this situation into something new. And I feel like it's actually going to really happen. There's going to be an offer and it's it's going to change. I have wires everywhere. I feel like it's going to change your life for the better. It's going to just all things that were unstable will just come crashing down and give you a sense of freedom. And it's all because of someone offering their love to you. It's really exciting. I'm excited for you, for Aquarius. I really am. Um, so whether you're single or in a relationship, you know, if you're in a situation with someone and there's just been too much bad karma or someone just wasn't giving enough to you I see you just refocusing your energy doing something new and new love will be coming in for you okay um, and what's going to happen after that happens we'll have to see in November <laughs> so again if you wish for a personal reading please contact oh wait no I want to pull an or oracle card for you I've been doing that for the last three readings and I just want to do that for you as well or two readings how many did I put up Okay, so chemistry. So there's someone that you have really great chemistry with, and there's a strong magnetic attraction between the two of you, okay? If this is someone new coming in, this is what you'll experience. If this is someone you're dealing with now, yeah, there's a strong mag magnetic attraction, but that's not enough, okay? This situation needs to change because magnetic attraction even if we can be attracted to dark souls that don't um people that don't um kind of like the devil card where there's just this you know people are attracted to cake but it doesn't mean it's good for us you know so it really just depends but whomever some whomever you have on your mind and you will know this um i feel like there's definitely an attraction between both of you and it's something you may be exploring during the month of October okay Aquarius so I hope you like your reading again moonpytarot.com or download the instant co app and just ask me questions some actually I put up this is my third video and I'm getting questions even like crazy people are really utilizing this again it's only for iOS it will be out for Android soon so definitely contact me on my website for a reading if you can't get that app just yet. Okay, thank you. Bye.